All right, let's see what percentage he's at. He is at 19. You are just really bad at healing. Come on, dude. But let's get some more footmen. And we got another awesome man at arms. Very cool. Get to Shavi here. Talk about your skills. Get more intelligence, girl. You need to be smarter. Get some more tracking. And, uh... Okay, so her extra skill is going to be tactics, like I said, which will allow us to do better in uh, larger skirmishes. Be able to deploy more men. Uh, our ratio of men to their men will be higher, as well as we'll start in better positions, which is always nice. Uh, so I guess we got to wait here a little. Wait here a couple days, maybe. Hopefully this guy heals up decently fast. So yeah, basically we're just going to be breaking people out and upgrading our troops. Nothing too uh, too serious. But I do want to do all this before we become a vassal of the Nords. And... Oh, they took Tyr back. Cool. Interesting. Nice, nice, nice. Yeah, I do want to be part of the Nords. And then we'll start trying to get, you know, our own stuff going. What castle are we even at? Ooh, boy! Look at that. There's our five, four die works in action, counteracting the wages of our party and giving us extra money as well. Very nice. Very nice, very nice. Where are we? All right, 47% uh, during the night. Yeah, maybe. Get another swatting man at arms. Get three more footmen. Why not? All right, let's try to uh, break this guy out again. The problem is the two archers right there. And there's no way to kill. I don't think there's a way. Can you kill them beforehand? No, they're not targetable. White text means they're not targetable. I know I talked about this before. And I don't know why I did this without my... Gosh, dang it. Fortunately, the guys on the wall are not noticing this or something. Oh, no, they are. You just die already? Holy cow. Thank you. Alright. So, let's try this again, dude. And this time, let's not die, okay? Thank you. For your service. Alright, can you block? Uh, apparently they're not aggroed onto me for some reason, so I'm just going to snipe them out. <laughs> Taking hits. Alright. Alright, that worked out a little better. Um, AI is derping, I guess. Guess they didn't notice me because it was raining or something, perhaps. Even though the guy that right next to him died, and he's like, you know what, I'll just, I'll just sit here and pretend that didn't happen. Do 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 do. Oh, this guy noticed me. No, it's not range fight. That seems kind of dumb. How'd that guy over there not notice Amir? Whatever. I won't worry about it. Get wrecked. Block your legs, Donnie. Block your legs. Gotta block low. <laughs> ah! Gotcha. Alright, now the guys should be through the gate. The rest of them, I believe, correctly. If it's like last time. And this time, Mazadun is safe. So, uh, we'll actually be able to break him out. Ha ha. Ha 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 ha. Very nice. What is your weapon? I'm gonna pick. Interesting. Very kind of lame equipment this guy has. It's like cavalry. Like light cavalry equipment. Alright. Um, hmm. I'm not seeing anyone in here. The heck is this spike stuff? I don't know. Really annoying, though. You can hop over it, so I guess you're supposed to hop over it. Gotcha! Okay. Who is left? Oh, that was the last guy. Okay. I've been dead for freeing you! We got honor and relations increased. Very nice. 
How much honor do we have now? We have 12. Eh, it's not too bad. Not too bad at all, mate. But he is free, and we have succeeded at life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. Anybody in prison at Ikamore? No. They're not. No one over here. Da 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 da. Uh, let's check Sungachi. Nope. Kudan. Kudan actually belongs to the Kurgits, which is pretty interesting. Good, good get by them. Actually, I do want to uh, keep checking the uh, arms at these places. <laughs> the arms at these places. Now, the balanced military cleaver is pretty good. But, uh, hmm. Do I want that, is the thing. That is a pretty good weapon. Look at that. 38 cut compared to 28 cut. Same reach, same speed. Looks kind of weird, though. You know what? Let's do it. Let's get let's get this. This will be a good weapon for a while. Uh, I don't think it's going to be my final weapon. But this will be a weapon for a while that we will use. And we'll give the Norik Sword to someone. I'm sure someone could use that. Uh, auto loot settings. So we got a nice one-hand open. Basically, I, I, want, I want a one-handed sword that uh, only has cut... Is going to be melt my goal, but there are better ones like scimitars, and like I said, somebody, somebody's going to want it. Is there really only eighty? Wow, there's only eighty-five people here. Not the biggest garrison in the world, and that's right, we do have to defeat this uh, mission over here. I did forget about that. We still have this uh, destroy bandit layer quest. We have thirty-seven days to do it, so let's do it right now. And I'm not too worried about any of the troops that attack me on the way here, unless there's big gangs of him. Give you nothing but cold seal. 38 to 38! Oh my gosh. But we have a lot of cavalry, so I'm not too worried. Yeah, let's engage. Alright, I'm going to be shooting them. Yeah, it's interesting, because SWATI militia actually have crossbows. But uh, none of the other guys that we're going to be getting have crossbows. Which is kind of unfortunate. It'd be nice to have some crossbows. Okay. Uh, good old OP javelins. Testing out our new weapon here. See how much damage it does. Oh, 63 damage. There we go. That's Those are numbers I like to see. Oh my gosh. Look at this damage we're putting down. We're just nuking these guys. Oh, missed. Ooh, 90 damage! Woo! 104! Oh my word! Oh, 80 damage. That That is just juicy. That is just juicy, my friends. And imagine that. Uh, armor's not gonna dampen it that much. 61 damage from standing. You know, armored foes are gonna fall pretty heavily, too. But, uh, yeah, that was pretty clean. Three guys wounded is not bad at all. Uh, one SWATI militia and two of our companions. And are you hitting the wrong button? Grab some of these to sell, perhaps. Worth selling, I'd say. A little bit of money there, and troops are ready to upgrade. And we get our two of our first SWATI and knights. Look at these guys. They have the uh, heavy horse that I have right now. And oh, 11 men at arms. Are you kidding me? Look at this. And look at our weekly cost is increasing as well. But uh, what you can actually do is you can talk to your guys and you can tell them about ourselves. So we can look at their stats. They have six shield skill, five riding skill, five power strike skill, one weapon master skill. Weapon master doesn't really matter for these guys. It doesn't because they don't gain skill points. So they have 150, 130, 130. That's yeah, not bad. And they have 59 HP. Pretty cool. Tell me about your equipment. Uh, this is if you do that. Um, you can look at all the possible equipment that they get. So, for example, they can get Heavy Lance, Morning Star, Two-Handed Sword, Knightly Heater Shield, Long Arming Sword, Guard Helmets, Great Helmets. So these guys get a lot of really good stuff. Look at this. 52, 50, 47, 45, 53. Just ridiculously high-level equipment. And it looks like you can steal it, but, you know, you can't actually steal it. Like, if you go out, you know, you don't actually have it. 
which is good because you could just steal stuff and make a lot of money. Um, yeah, so you can look at your guys' equipment. Even even the Swadian men at arms, they have the males of Surcoat or the Haberguns, which are both Habergians, Habergian, which are both pretty good. They're both over forty. Very good, very solid. Uh, headgear not quite as good, but uh, got a lance and you know some basic stuff. War horse hunters, you know, it's, it's pretty good. It's pretty good. Pretty good. Pretty good. Pretty good indeed. So yeah, we uh, only have one militia left, and then we have footmen swatting. Yeah, so we're pretty good. Uh, footmen are pretty much able to handle most uh, bandits. Perhaps not sea raiders, but uh, most other bandits. Actually, I want to sell this stuff before we do this, because we might get some good... No, tunner, tunner layers have crappy loot. What am I talking about? Boop. Attack the hideout, and let's take them down. So we're going to have our companions with us. Bathsheer, Yamira. I think everybody but Jeremus is with us here. And we get to use our... our everybody but Jeremus and Jashavi. So we get to use our military cleaver in one-on-one -on -one action. And we'll get to see the damage that it does. So yeah, next next we will upgrade our uh, armor. Because, you know, our armor is kind of low class. If you haven't noticed. It's kind of kind of sucky, actually. Come the javelins. Block the javelins. Super Tyaga bandits and their OP javelins. Fortunately, they only have like a couple of them. Oh, 50. Oh, one hit KO. One hit KO. Can I hear a one hit KO? One hit KO. 82. Holy cow. That is a lot of damage, folks. Oh, why would you? Why would you put your guard guard down? You're gonna get wrecked. Now I'm going to pop some of these people in the head. Because that's just the fashionable thing to do. Yeah. Oh, come on. Right. I guess you want to get cut in the head. So let's see Let's see how much damage you do to a guy without head armor. Well, I didn't hit him in the head, but... Uh... Oh, you guys are trying to shoot at me. Ymir got knocked out by one. What a noob. What a noob Ymir is. Oh, get wrecked. Not a one hit KO that time, but, uh... Oh, there was the headshot. 97 damage! Holy cow, that is disgusting. But I'm a fan of that. You know, 97 damage is, is, is quite good, I hear. I hear that's enough to kill every single unit in the game. Oh, Bunduk doing work. Uh, Bathysher died up there. Some archer on archer action. He's moving and strafing, though. There's right, so anybody popping up over here. Doesn't look like it. How many have we killed? We've killed 15, and there's 5 currently. Or no, we've wounded 5. And... So there's 21 of them. Alright. And Bunduk did level up as well. Let's see. Nomad bow, nomad bow. Nothing too exciting. Blah, blah, blah. Honey, olives, cheese. That's some good stuff. Uh, actually, we did need some food. Yeah, the more men you have, of course, the more your food starts to dwindle. So you do have to be careful of that. But I think that's about all we're going to get there. Very nice. So if we can find Boyar America, who is probably in the fighting right now, because they are at war. <sighs> Give you nothing but cold steel, scum. Why are you attacking me? I have more men. I have more men. And we have a lot of... We have a lot... Let's just run them down. Look at our cavalry. Oh my gosh, this is about to be disgusting. Let's run them down, men. Where are our Swadian Knights? I gotta find them. Swadian Knights, where are you? Which ones are the Swadian Knights? I don't know. I don't see them. Oh well. Ain't got no time for range attacks and we're all up in your grill like this. <laughs> and that is the purpose of having all this cavalry. That guy actually have a shield. Huh, nice. Usually don't have shields and spears. Oh my gosh, this, this cleaver, this cleaver, this cleaver just does so much damage. Even on like a totally missed hit like that. Ooh, one guy wounded. Pretty good. That was... See, this is how decisive our battles against the bandits are going to start being with all these troops. And that is why I wanted them, as you can see. 
perform the upgrading. Let's get some heavy jabs. And we are full. So. Let us go sell those. That's what I was trying to do before I was so rudely interrupted. Two more Swadian Knights. One more Man at Arms. Let's get swole. And, uh... He's not here. Okay. That's unfortunate. Marketplace, we are getting attacked by bandits. Oh, no. Do you want to feel the wrath of my military cleaver? Didn't think so. Didn't think so. How about you, good sir? Didn't think so. That's right. Get wrecked. Now, actually, the thing is, uh, balanced means that it's actually faster. It, I think it balanced means it has plus three speed points over normal military cleavers, so... Actually, it wouldn't be as fast as our other sword normally, but just for, just for this occasion, it, it, it was, which is cool. So we'll sell all this. We can actually sell a couple of these horses, like the suede back ones. Um, yeah, we'll just keep the good horses. It's too bad you can't, like, combine, you know, the, the stuff, but whatever. Get a couple more. A couple more foodstuffs. And we will still get plenty of money. So that's cool. Let's look at our armor. Ooh, we do have gauntlets available. But uh, it's quite expensive for just a pair of gauntlets. Uh, plate armor is pretty... Is is the best armor in the game. But it makes you look really weird. You get like this bulge on your chest. I don't know. I don't like it. I won't be getting plate armor. Ooh, ooh look at that. Naked Jones. But uh, yeah, nothing too great here. Uh... Steel Shield is the strongest shield in the game, but it is much smaller than the uh, Huskarl Shield. Which is fine if you have high shield skill, but uh, I don't have high shield skill, and I don't expect all my dudes to have high shield skill. And we do need to find Boyar Meriga, because we do want to uh, you know, unleash the hounds there and get our quest complete. We also want to upgrade our guy's abilities here. Clethy. Clethy, 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 Clethy. We're still working on that with you. Um, no, 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 no. We definitely want Weapon Master. Definitely do. Upgrade your abilities some more. Bunduk, I saw you first, even though you weren't the first on the list. Uh, let's work on your agility. You need some more agility, Bundy. Bundy boy. Saw that work you did with the two-handed weapon. It was pretty good. What do you have? Chipped them all. 35 blunt. Not too bad. Tell me about your skills, Alien. Uh, let's start getting some intelligence and start getting him some trainer. As well as riding. Which means we can swap your stubborn saddle horse for the stubborn hunter. Which I feel better about. <clears throat> very good, very good. Ideally, I want all of them to have four um, riding so they can all ride the uh, armored horses. Which is pretty nice. Uh, there's probably another Sea Raider landing. Yes, there is. So, I did want to scout that out. Don't really want to fight the Sea Raiders. Fighting the Sea Raiders is actually really good for XP. And we maybe will do that pretty shortly. But I do want to find Bora Amerigo first. Maybe he's captured. I am Brayden, Lord. Uh, not interested. I don't know why I'm looking for missions. He's not going to have anything I want. Uh, find the location of Meriga. Between River Chag and Unidad. So he's right around here, actually. Unidad is this town. So he's right in here. I, oh, he's right there. Hi! Hey! Hey, Mr. Mr. Meriga, sir. Mr. Meriga, sir! We need to duck. It's about that chimpanzee. You know the one I speak of. Don't you? Look at that quest. Quest complete. I have leveled up. Jeremus has leveled up. 3,000 experience, 150 dinars. And let's do the Sea Raider job while we're at it. So let's get our skill points up. Um, hmm. I think I'm going to get my charisma up to 15 now. And there's really nothing to get. Uh. We should get some inventory management and prisoner management. Actually, would be a pretty good idea. 
but uh, yeah, you know, we're pretty much set for all of our combat skills. More Iron Flash will just give us more HP, which is always nice, but I think for now, I'm going to get some inventory management. And prisoner management isn't super useful for us until we start owning, you know, castles of our own. Okay, we have over 201 weapon hand, one handed weapon experience, which is pretty good. As you saw, the uh, the Swadian Knights only had um 150, I think. So that 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 tells you that uh, 200 is pretty good. It's 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 pretty good. So we can get two more ranks in engineer, or we can get two ranks in trainer. We're gonna start upgrading trainer on everyone, because uh, trainer, basically, how trainer works is if they're lower level than you, if the troop is lower level than you, then you they get a cut, they get like a flat experience, uh, at the end of each day, and every every single companion you have that you know does that will, you know, increase the experience that each troop gets. So eventually, you can you can like pick up like a hundred recruits in one day, and they can all level up to the next level in like one day. If you have, you know, enough guys with good trainer. So I think getting more trainer is useful. It's not going to be very useful because uh, Swatty Militia, because you can look and see he's level 9. Jeremy's is only level 8. So he's not going to benefit the Swatty Militias at all. But uh, it will benefit the recruits, which I don't think we'll need any more of. But in case we do, uh, we don't want to fight. Uh, I guess we do. All right, let's fight. I will drink from your skull. Charge the enemies. He didn't even offer me. She didn't even want my money. But let's see, we do have we do have like a lot of good troops, so I'm not too worried about it. <laughs> that was like the most eloquent sentence ever. Okay, let's let's find a Swadian knight. I wanna look at Ooh, look at this look at this guy. Look at him, he's got his morning star out, he's got his heavy horse right next to the other Swadian knight. Where are the other two? Swadian knights. Oh, there's one with his Kurde. Bukoli, or whatever that armor is called. Oh, look at this guy. This guy is pimping. This guy is pimping. He's got a great helmet. Kurd de Bukoli. And some other stuff. And we got our foot troops in front. They have spears, which isn't going to be super useful. It's actually pretty nice that they have spears uh, against cavalry. But not too necessary. They do have the archer advantage. Albeit a small one. We do have, like, a couple archers. We'll just fire in there for fun. Oh, got a nice hit. Figure I might as well get some archer experience while I'm at it. Don't want to fall too far behind in my archery. As you can see, it's not too hard to get up. Swatty Militia actually got a kill. Swatty Militia got another kill. Dang, Swatty Militia. All right, let's charge. Get them, men! This may not end super well, but we should be able to get... Some oh, my gosh. 68 damage to a Sea Raider. Is oh, my gosh! Why did, why did I take that much damage? I don't know. But I do want to kill you, Mr. Uh, Archer dude. As well as you. So whatever you are, dude. Oh, look at look at us just tear through these noobs. Get them. Get them. Oh my gosh. Impressive. I will say impressive. Swatty Knights. Definitely, definitely working out. Now, experience on Swatty Knights is useless uh, because, well, Swatty Knights are fully upgraded, so they don't actually get any stronger with experience. So, if you do want to train troops, don't have your super experienced troops. Don't have your top tier troops, you know, fight the enemy because they will not gain experience. As you see, more men have spawned in, but we'll come up and destroy them like the others. Shouldn't be too hard. That was 50 damage on the male armor. That is pretty good. And we have a high shot, uh, since we're killing so many series, we have a high shot of getting some male armor for our troops. Which I'm a fan of, personally. And cutting them down, and destroying their livelihoods. This is when the game starts to get, this is when I really start to enjoy the game, is when we can have groups of just armies just clashing. And we had two wounded guys and 56 sea raiders. That is, that is ridiculous. Heroes upgrade. So they probably, there's probably some mail in there, but they probably got rid of it, I would guess, considering this is in there. Um, nothing else really worth selling, so leave the items. Let's see, who did anybody, ooh, upgraded to footmen, and five more men at arms, five more knights, look at that, look, it's ridiculous. So you got one, two, three, four, five guys with armor. Not bad, not bad. 
And let's head to the Sea Raider landing and take them out, I say. Actually, this may not be a good idea because we're kind of low on health. Ah, I'm pretty much full. Not too bad. Most of our companions should be decently full as well. And most of them have good armor. Oh, we oh, actually, one of them is injured, so we actually have a Swatty and Mended Arms joining us today. Hello, Swatty and Mended Arms. Actually, that really sucks. Um, dang it. I don't want you in here. Because you have the chance to die, as opposed to just get knocked out. And I'm not a fan of it. You know, I like my guys to uh, stay alive, usually. You know, I'm just going to go handle this myself. You guys, you guys stay over here and shoot. And hold this position. And I'm going to go... I'm going to go shoot at him. And I'm going to go try to kill him myself. And uh, we should have a good opportunity to get some good armor here as well. Usually you get a good chunk of armor from taking out Sea Raiders. Ooh, headshot. Not quite clutch. Not quite clutch. There we go. Gotcha. Gotcha. Oh my gosh, that was a looter. And we just nuked him. <laughs> oh, the sun's kind of in the way. It's kind of annoying. Gotcha. Gotcha. Alright, they're, they're approaching on our men. Let's take them out. Nice hit that guy did. Uh, get wrecked. Commence getting wrecked algorithm. Uh, there's a good chance that this guy will probably level up after this battle. Which is, which is nice. Yeah, go take those guys out. Those are only looters. Yeah, they're just spawning looters now. So, not too hard, of course. Looters are pretty easy to kill. If, if you haven't figured that out yet. Uh. Uh. Looters are great fodder for archery, let me tell you. If I get hit, my accuracy is not very good today. Oh, as I get two headshots in a row on moving targets. Oh, that guy just straight up died. How quaint. Uh. Yes. Get him. Getting my archery skill up. The farther away you shoot, the more, uh, basically, yeah, the, the skill difficulty, or the shot difficulty. Oh my gosh, dude, you almost died. I didn't know we had a Swatty and Footman in here as well. Get him, Swatty and Footman. Yeah, or Swatty and Man at Arms. Cool. Cool. Uh, let's see what we got. We got some heavy helmets. Oh, there we go. There is some heavy armor. Uh, cracked, not quite as good. Some stuff to sell, arrows, we don't really need that. Uh, just grab stuff that looks good to sell. These tattered nomad vests are pretty weak, let's be honest. These helmets do sell pretty well. These throwing axes. So let's go ahead and do that, leave them. And mission complete! And some soldiers already upgraded, so that guy did want to upgrade after his uh, adventure. Very nice. Good that one of them did. Sea Raiders, yeah, I definitely think we we should probably train on Sea Raiders. Hey, Mariga. Experience? Yes. Bathisher and Ferentis leveled up this time. And our relation with this guy is going to get pretty good throughout the game, because we're going to keep coming back here, and we're going to keep doing the two quests, you know. Which is going to be pretty, pretty OD. Pretty legit. Pretty legit, boy. So we got plenty of money as well. We got money up the wazoo. We're about to sell a lot of our stuff, actually. No, we're not. We got to uh, throw the stuff in here, see if anyone wants it first. From the upgrading and take the stuff back. Nice 200 axe for someone to pick up. Very good. And go ahead and sell that off at the goods store. I don't know why. Specifically the goods store, but uh, it works. And get ourselves a very, very hefty sum of money. Got an extra thousand dollars. Thousand dollars, mate. Quite entertaining. 
But I think I'm going to end off this session here. I'm not really sure how many videos that is going to be. Maybe two, maybe three. But uh, I'm getting a little tired and it's getting a little late in the day. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching this uh, session of Mountain Blade. And uh, I guess I'll level up our troops while we're talking. And join us next time as we continue to grow our little band here. Get our swatty knights in tow. And start to destroy everything that was once held dear by society. By the bandits. The bandits no longer threaten us, basically. So we can do what we want. More training. Yes. Farentas. As well. Yeah, the bandits don't bother us. Uh, get charisma. Now, there's a reason I'm giving him leadership, and I'll talk about that, you know, later. But just, just, just know for now I'm giving Farentas leadership. So, yes. Our party... Uh, as you can see, it costs a thousand. Swatting knights cost fifty each at this leadership level, which is which is quite expensive, quite expensive, but it's not too bad. Um, you know, we're, we're we're aiming for we're gonna have if none of these guys die, we're gonna have about thirty swatting knights, twenty nine. So that costs fifteen hundred a week, and you know we ha we make more than that, so that's sustainable income. Uh, a full army, if I if I had 81 Swati Knights, that would be about 4,000 a week, which is more than we could afford right now. But there are methods to afford that later in the game, as we will see. But, uh, yes. For now, I'm going to end it off. So, thanks for watching. Bread and Lord signing out. Have a great day.